Tech Rental Supply, the TACBI for hire. The TACBI comes with the measuring device, the transducer, the temperature probe, the power pack, measurement points for old wells and the new style of hoses. Data transfer from your CBI to your laptop and vice versa. A diskette that allows you to build your sites for TA balance. Also comes with the Allen keys for appropriate re removal of the filter and for other areas and the chain for hanging. One of the functions that the CBI can achieve is that you can measure your flow and check your delta P across the valve facings measuring through these two points here. We will show you how to do that with the instrument. This is how you assemble your hardware to measure your flow. With the transducer, you remove it, you take the pin, and plug it into the last socket on the end. That's insecure. You take your hoses, which is in the, in the box, you mount them into the retaining clips. Push them down, make sure they clip back in, and they're secure. You are now ready to take the instrument to your first measuring point. So off we go. We turn the machine on, of course, by pressing this red button. So we've chosen the red button and it comes up with our menu. Okay? So we're going to measure a valve. We're just going to check the flow through the valve. Okay, so it tells us what we have to do. We have to insert the two test points into the valves. This is a normal standing valve for us. You have your colour coded red and blue. Red and blue. Undo the, the, the safety caps so the dirt doesn't get in there. Insert the probes into the valve. Okay. The machine tells us that you are measuring on a new valve and must press the center, sensor. Press the sensor in, tells us that it's calibrating, and then it tells us what to do. So we let it back out, calibration is done. We have a differential pressure flowing across the top two valves of 17.78 kPa. Okay, we want to check to make sure that we have a correct flow rate coming through from the system. We press our enter key, which is either found down the bottom here or up the top. So we press enter, because the machine tells us what we want to do. We want to measure the flow because we want to know what the flow rate is on our system. It asks us the type of valve that we're using on the systems, which you can find based here. What we're using is a 15-14, and it is an STA type valve. With the scroll crease, come down and ask for the size. We press the button and we select our correct sizing. From there, we hit enter. It asks us the number of turns that we've got on our present handle position, which we find here. And on this one, it is 1.9. One up the top and nine down the bottom. We go 1.9. And once again, we hit the enter button. This now gives us our flow rate coming through this valve, 0.06 litres a second at position turns of 1.9 and it gives us a differential pressure of approximately 18.35. That is all that we need to know for the measuring of flow. We've now found out what our flow is. If we need to adjust the flow, we can do it now by moving the handle, this handle, up and down and our flow will change accordingly. From loading the, the diskette onto your, onto your PC, these are the options that you come up with. To build a site for, for a TA balance method, we come into Site Builder. This is the information that we come up with on Site Builder. We must give the site a name, so we'll call it TR. The actions that we're going to do is that we're going to add. From here, we choose our reference, which is um, TR. We're starting on valve number one for the system because we've broken it up into system. We know the type of valve is a stat. If we didn't and we needed to change the valve at that time, these are the other options we've got on it. The type of valve, the size of the valve that we on this installation is a 15-14, so we change it 
and then we type in our required flow rate. Once done that, we hit the OK button, puts it up on the screen. Then to enter in the next action, we do exactly the same, which is add, comes up with TR1, which is the reference we gave it, and the valve number, running it all down. Valve doesn't change, it might stay at 15, 14, or if you've got different valves in the system, you change it. You put in your de desired flow rate, and then you choose OK. That brings it all down into the system that it should be. That, that'll do. Having built our full site, we're now ready to transfer the information from our PC to our CBI, and that's what we'll do. With your transfer cable, one, of the, one end is plugged into your computer on the serial port, the other end is plugged into your CBI on its transfer serial port. We have to turn, make sure the machine is on. The machine's on. We choose the function that says PC communication, we hit enter and it brings up ready for communication. To transfer the information from your PC to your CBI, you open up file, come down to transfer it to CBI, choose it, it asks you the flow rate that you want it in, so you can choose your flow rate at this stage, litres per second, you hit the button OK, it comes up and tells us that our site has been successfully transferred. Remove the, the communication port from the PC, and off you go, ready to go to site now. Turn the machine off and move to site. On site, we've now arrived, turn the machine back on. We choose the function that we're going to do and we're going to do a TA balance today. We choose the function number four which comes up with TA balance. We hit the enter key and it tells us whether it's a new module, an existing module, if it has a partner valve and if it's got a pressure drop. If we want to change the differential pressure or the partner valve, we go into it at this time and do it. We check to see whether we've got the partner valve on and it's telling us that we're not going to measure the partner valve today, which is what we want. If we wanted to measure the partner valve, move on to yes. Okay. If we wanted to change our minimum pressure drop, we come in here and we change this from 1 to 3 kPa, whatever, is, whatever the minimum pressure drop that we require on the system. Okay. So we come to the existing module, choose that, hit enter, it comes up with the site that we built, which was called TR. Reference number, which is the number that we gave it. Okay, and it's telling us to measure next. So this is where we come to site and we start to measure our valves. Once again, the colour called it blue and red. Blue to blue, red to red. In it goes. Press enter. Measuring valve number two. It thinks that we're going to measure valve number two. We tell it that we're measuring valve number one. So we go one, two, and carry on up. Enter. Asks us for the type of valve, which is a 1514, which we programmed into what we chose before. If that is correct. We can change that information just now if we wanted to. We don't. Our desired flow rate is what we've chosen before from the engineer is 0.06. So we agree with that. Hit enter. It asks us for the number of turns that the, that the instrument is set to. Once again, we come over here and we look at the handle and this should tell us it was set on two turns. Hit two, and then hit enter. It tells us what we have to do, so like in the flow, we have to press the sensor button, calibrates it, release the sensor button, tells us our flow rate at two turns. With this method, then hit enter again, tells us that we have to shut our valve, so we shut our valve, and we press the enter key again, it tells us what our differential pressure is at closed valve. Hit enter again, it tells us to open it up to the previous terms of two terms. We've opened the valve back up to the two terms, press enter. It tells us to go in and measure next, and that's what we'll do. Chose one. Now we're going to measure valve number two. Remove it from the points and move on to your next valve. Dust covers are removed. Process, put the measuring points into the valve stem and continue on as before. Check the information is correct. It tells us our design flow which was 0.06 litres. Press enter. Number of turns on this one on valve two is once again two turns. 
We measure the new sensor, new valve. Must press the sensor in. The machine will tell us that it's calibrated. Once it's been calibrated, it tells us to release the calibration instrument. It tells us our desired flow at two turns on this instrument. Press enter. It tells us that we have to shut our valve again. Close our valve, press enter, tells us our differential pressure at closed valve. Open the valve back up to the two turns. Press enter, and it tells us that we're going to move on to the next valve. We do that for the number of valves that we have decided in our module that we're going to calibrate today. After measuring all your valves, you've now You've checked your flow rates, you've done what the machines ask you to do. So you've measured your sequence of valves in the module that you've set up. You come up with this button which is called Calculate, which is choose number one, so you hit enter. Once you've chosen the Calculate button, it will tell you what you have to go back and set all your handles up. Okay, it's came up with the flow rates on it, and it tells us our valve number one to achieve the flow rate of 0.06 litres a second must be set to 1.9. At this stage we can scroll through and see what our other valves must be changed to. Valve number 2 needs to be set at 2.7 turns. We go around and we readjust all our valves now to the sequence. With this type of balance you only need to visit the valves a maximum of 3 times. By, by scrolling through the systems and changing the valve numbers up the top from, from the systems from 1 to 5 We've gone around and preset all our valves to the required position settings, of course, which is your valve terms. The system now is balanced to plus or minus 10% with the available water flow going through the system. With the information that we've now collected on our CBI, we can transfer it back to our PC and therefore get a hard report copy. PA CBI saves time saves money and improves on accuracy when you're doing a, a hydronic balance. Typically a balance time took 65 minutes per floor doing a TA balance took the same time doing an index balance. The time saved when you're setting and balancing the floor on a TA balance method was 15 minutes on an index balance method was 120 minutes. Consequently the total hours was 1.5 hours on a balance system and 3.8 hours on an index balance system. Over a complete floor, over a complete 23-storey building, the for a TA balance method was 63.5 hours, and the index method was 103 hours. Not only have you increased your accuracy of your balance, you've also saved a great deal of time.